it. What's happening? So, um, okay, countries that refuse to accept the deportation of their citizens from the United States, even during the global COVID-19 crisis, are to face visa sanctions. Now, the order was given on Friday, April 10th, by U.S. President Donald Trump in a memorandum to the Secretary of State and the Secretary of Homeland Security. And the directive is to remain in place until December 31st. Now, the move by Trump comes at a time when dozens of countries, including Jamaica, have closed their borders to incoming travel as they seek to limit the spread of the novel coronavirus. So, Craig, <clears throat> COVID-19, what do you think about Trump doing, doing that right now? Trump is doing a lot of weird things. He's doing a lot of things. things. Um, but I, I, I'm still trying to understand what's going on here. What, what he's saying is that, um, all right, and the need for tech, but then people are aware saying we can't take them back now because the doors are closed and him saying, well, you have to take them back. That's yeah. what's happening. Yeah. Oh. Um, but, we, but because we've said that we are closing the gate or our borders until when it is April, April 17th, I think. I'm not sure. I'll confirm with you. But because of that, we, do, we don't have to take them back now. But as soon as the borders are open, he's like, you have to take them or else um, sanctions will be in place with regards to U.S. visas. Um, I'm not saying nothing wrong with it. I mean, I like it. But uh, I mean, it's all people now. Yes. So I'm a prefer to mind people. I mean, Okay, Personally, interesting. interesting. Yeah, interesting. I mean, interesting. Interesting. I don't dig it, and I, I don't, I don't like, I don't like people telling me you have to do this or, or else. Mm -hmm. I don't dig that either. But, but I would like to know why they're being deported, though, as well. Like, is it because of crimes? Are they, you know what I mean? What are the terms of them being deported? What did they do? How long have they been there? Why all of a sudden are they being deported? Um, because don't forget, it could be persons on vacation. I mean, I don't know. Don't forget you that know, right now, New York, for example, has the highest death death rate um, right now and also there tend to be a lot of black persons I, there is I, that something to do with that I would I never I, I I would never like to be in in the shoes of any political leader right now That's it's true. a difficult time right That's now true. It's but hard to make personally personally speaking um, are my people them give me them I agree with that you know what I mean I, I mean it, it, no matter if them did them on vacation no matter if them go over there and them them a criminal or whatever am I, I, I won't give me them mm. yeah I, I want them yeah. here <laughs> Even the ones on vacation, keep the rest. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. All right, so what else is buzzing, Craig? Okay, so um, so the world seems to stand still for six hours on Easter Sunday as the entertainment fraternity, local and abroad, joined forces to raise millions of dollars to help our healthcare workers in Jamaica for COVID-19 through the National Telethon. This telethon was dubbed Together We Stand Jamaica. Um, Prime Minister Andrew Holness made it his duty to lead by example and committed 3,000 US dollars while Finance Minister Nigel Clark pledged 2,000 US dollars to his foundation, Growth and Opportunity Trust. Um, Jamaican dollars poured in, of course, in, in courtesy of the Credit Unions of Jamaica, which pledged $4 million. United, <laughs> amazing, right? Thank you, that's so, money. The, the United Way Jamaica, uh, they pledged uh, $2.5 million. And cricketer Chris, Chris Gale um, matched Usain Bolt's pledge of $500,000. Um, Reggae Song Fest principal <laughs> Joe Bogdanovich, you know, I clap for that one. Nope. Joe Bogdanovich pledged um, $600,000. Um, and thousands of viewers checked in for the live streamed event, which aimed um, to raise 10.5 million US dollars to purchase protective gear and equipment for healthcare workers and security forces to help fight the coronavirus. Um, hmm. The Marley family also was strongly represented uh, with Julian Marley doing a live performance of songs like Broken Sail and Cooling in Jamaica. And um, Ziggy, Steven, Skip and Kimani offered pre-recorded performances and endorsements as well. Um, to sing, though singing isn't his forte, <laughs> Rohan, Rohan gave his support by pledging 5,000 US as, as, as so well. So Rohan Marley pledged 5,000 US dollars. 5,000 US, yeah. <clears throat> I'm on a family on that. That's, that's just what, okay. It's All a big deal. Right, I am not going to say anything about Nisha this. Nisha 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 more. Now, I'm not talking about anyone in particular. I throw my corn, I call it no foul. <laughs> Wait, so... you learn, that's it. 
I call it no foul. <laughs> so I threw the core and don't pick it up, don't eat it. Okay? I, hear, I hear what you're saying. But, but I'm just, saying but there's some persons, some of us in society, we're really, really struggling. So we can't contribute what we like. And there's others that's not struggling as much or at all. They should be the ones to really feel the pinch. But what do I know? Anywho. I've learned that you, you, you can't presume to know throw with my a corn. person's income. Throw with my corn. No so, foul was call it. So I, I give thanks. <laughs> I give that every meal. It's true. Make a moko. We can build a moko. We can build a little thing. Yes. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. So, <clears throat> guess what, guys? Indignation Collective, the label and artist management company founded by Grammy nominated Jamaican artist Protege and also home to Leela Ike and Savannah, announced a deal with Six Course uh, RCA Records. Now, all three artists will release, pro will release projects through a multi-album venture. Now we can't wait to hear the first new single from Lile IK, I Spy. Now this single comes out on Thursday. Let us know what your thoughts are. What do you think about it? I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it's, it's, it could be a big deal. It could be a big deal. Um, it's a big label. Well, I say it's a big label. Six Course is a, 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 a subsidiary of that. So, and now right. Indignation Collective will be a subsidiary of Six Course. They're right, signed right. in succession like that. Right. Um, so that's because the big dogs behind because, them. Mm, it could be. I mean, you have to... You, <laughs> contracts are weird, you know. You have to actually see what happens. Exactly. Or what exactly happens. How much they really spend. But but we, we, we are looking forward to what can come of it. Um, it could be it, a great move already. Yeah, I mean, it's big doors opening. I mean, it, it, it's, it's access to... To, to a major distribution stream so good things can happen so let's let's, let's see what happens cross our fingers and I mean I, I I personally just I'm a little like a fan still so I like I, them, I like that them betting on her first I'm be I love you yeah, too, I like Lila. I'm here for it <laughs> and the good thing about it is guys we're gonna yeah. show the video on Friday we're gonna drop it here so should wait for that on yeah, Friday mm-hmm so, what else is, is buzzing? So, um, actress Nicole Ari Park and her mm -hmm. husband, actor um, Boris Kojo, they were on Instagram Live on Wednesday night. Uh, they joined Chris and Vanessa Spencer as guests on their date night Instagram Live. So, during the live, uh, Nicole Ari Park opened up about her marriage and wanting more attention from her husband. I tell you, so this thing I mash up love people. You know. She <laughs> said, um, sometimes in the last year or so, I thought, you know, I wish that he was my boyfriend, I, her boyfriend again. I don't necessarily want to be single, but she misses the single life. Uh, she misses the text messages for no reason. She misses the coming up behind her when she's scrambling eggs and just kissing her on the back of her neck. Aww. So yeah, you know, so I don't know. You think you think that um you have to I mean if Mr. do that. Of course. You still treat Trisha like boyfriend or are you or, No, or, well or... first of all, I and I was never a boyfriend. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, okay. We don't do that thing, we don't okay. do that thing. But um but yeah, I'm still I'm still <laughs> I mean the them thing that do things to me still, you know, like so them thing that some yeah. we'll go up there and drop a little bit. Do a little, you know, do a little, do a little. Do my thing. Ah. That's good, that's good. Not, not too much information. It's true, you know, you true. I mean. But you know, I respect her for being honest about how she feels. I feel like sometimes persons don't necessarily tell the truth about marriage and how things can get stale sometimes. So I really love that she's she's keeping it real. Yeah, you know man, I mean? keep it real because some people so, married and get boring. Anyway, boring. so. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, the Don't Rush Challenge has been taking over the internet, but this one made us crack up. Check it out. Something all right? Something all right, yeah? Look, that's what I'm away. I got go gun. Wait, is it? Oh, my God. <laughs> I want her right. Is that? Is, 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 is... Ninja, man. I don't know. Because a don't rush challenge is supposed to start out with no makeup and then you get you get pretty. You know, men and women, right? You just start out and then you do the thing on the thing. But was that so so, so what happened there? It looked like ninja man turning on somebody else. Or oh, somebody else turning a ninja man. Hold on. Don't rush. Something all right. <laughs> Something alright. Don't think alright, yeah. So, I... so, 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 so,
<laughs> so, hold on. So, Iba try to hype up himself, right? Right. And, and turn right. a ninja man. That's, yes, I think that's right. what happened. Because normally they come out in their suits and everything. You know what I mean? But that didn't quite work out for him. But, if, um, yeah. Well, if I see one more challenge. One more challenge. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to challenge you to something today. I don't know what yet. I'm but something. So, Daytime Lab will be right back. We have much more buzz. And I'm going to think of a challenge for Craigie T to do during this week. Join us after the break. I'm not going to do it.